Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean my ATV off after a run. Uh, sometimes I get friends asking me, how do you keep your machine so clean? Do you even take it out and use it? And the answer is yes, I use it. Uh, just spend a little time on it, cleaning it uh, when I have the time. Sometimes I'll just spray it off with the hose or the pressure washer to get the excess mud off. And other times I'll spend uh, an hour or, or more on it, uh, making sure I get it a lot cleaner, getting the mud out from underneath and cleaning the plastic panels and so forth. And that's what I did this day after this run. Uh, last weekend we went out with a few friends and we did a 130, 35 kilometer run, which is about 85 miles or 80 miles. And uh, it was a really dusty, dry day. There wasn't much mud on the trail at all, except for that section here that you just saw me in. And uh, it was enough to get it uh, coated a little bit with mud and I'll show you how I cleaned it off. So I guess I got step one completed. I uh, got the machine a little muddy. It's actually not too bad. I've had it much, much worse than this. And uh, I usually like to take my pressure washer to it to get everything off. It does a great job of getting the mud and everything off and then it doesn't take that long to clean it after with a wash mitt. But uh, my pressure washer is broken right now so I had to use the regular hose, unfortunately. It still did the job but it just takes a bit longer. So unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have my pressure washer to get this off. This would have been much faster, but I had to use my regular hose. So I rinse off all the mud on the outside and the, the inside as well. I try to stay away from the electronics on the dash and anything as much as I can. I get up under the wheel well, spray off the shocks. I'll also rinse out the radiator uh, as best as I can to get the mud off. And uh, here you can see uh, a couple of coats of wax that I've put on the machine. Uh, ice wax from turtle wax you can use on plastic works really well um, it makes it uh, rinse off a little easier and the water keeps beating on there for a long time I also make sure I open up the hatch on mine uh, on the back for the uh, for the dump box there's lots of mud that gets kicked up in there so if that takes a few minutes at a minimum to rinse that stuff off sometimes more and then down uh, by the axle too and the rear there's a pan that often gets full of mud on the bottom and, and rocks as well and they'll rattle if you don't clean those out of there and uh, so this is a good good start and then uh, once I do this then I'll actually take a wash mitt to it once I've gotten uh, most of the grit off okay this is back under the dump box there's a skid plate underneath the the rear differential and it gets full of mud sometimes and grass and uh, rocks and things like that if you hit puddles or you go through some mud holes and things like that it's good to clean those things out of there one of the drawbacks of cleaning your atv or side by side in your on your paved driveway is all the mud you have to deal with afterwards cleaning it off sometimes i'll even take it down to the street on the gravel on the shoulder of the road there and just wash it down there to get the initial spray anyway to get all that mud off so i don't have to deal with it on the driveway and once I've got that mud off, or most of it, with the hose, the heavy stuff, then I'll take an old uh, car wash mitt and rub it down pretty good to get the rest of it off and then give it a rinse with the hose. So all the mud is gone, it's all washed off. And uh, if you notice here on the hood, one other time I used the pressure washer and um, I had the wrong nozzle on, I guess it was the, the, the water spray was a little too narrow and powerful and it ripped the, the stickers off on the hood there as you can see. So now when it's clean I usually uh, take an old chamois from what I used to use on my cars, dry it down and then I uh, put some a combination of tire foam on the tires and the black plastics and I use another type of tire cleaner on the seats and the tonneau cover. I put a light coating of this tire spray on all the black plastics like I mentioned earlier. I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I take an old uh, rag, uh, microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe it down and dry it off and the blacks come out, the black plastics come out really really nice and um, once I'm done that then sometimes I'll even put it on the yellow plastics too, it looks great. Uh, today I didn't bother with that and um, I'll show you what I use on the tonneau cover here in a second. This turtle wax wet and black tire shine works fantastic on plastics and vinyl way more so than it does on tires in my opinion which is what it was made for originally so that's what I use on my tonneau cover and the uh, seat covers sometimes I'll even use the rag when it's kind of saturated just wipe down the yellows and give it a really nice shine um, this stuff works so well a friend of mine has a, an old jet ski that he had and he sprayed this stuff down and wiped it down with a microfiber cloth like this and he couldn't believe how much color came back like 
um, it didn't look nearly as faded anymore. So I use that on the tonneau cover and the seats, they came out looking great. It took me a few minutes to wipe down the tonneau cover and the seats and when I was finished with that uh, then I just went back with a dry microfiber cloth and wiped down the, uh, the spray that I had put on the black plastics from earlier just to dry them off uh, so they don't leave any kind of streaky marks and stuff and buff them a little bit and they come out really really nice. So that's it. Uh, everything is done and uh, feel free to leave some comments below on what you do to clean your machine. Keep in mind I don't do this every single time I wash the machine. It just takes too much time. But I like to do it now and then to, uh, to really kind of make it look nice and shiny. So uh, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing some of your comments.